Good day, Mr. Rogon. I'm Adriana Jara Fernandez Mangas from group number 16, and this is our work for our performance task number 5. In this video presentation, we will be solving problems involving one of the four conic sections, particularly hyperbolas. Take it away, partner. So, good day to all. In this video, we will focus on solving problems involving hyperbola. So, problem number one. Two radio signaling stations, A and B, lie on an east-west line with A 100 miles west of B. A plane is flying west on a line 50 miles north of the line AB. Radio signals are sent traveling at 0.2 miles per microsecond simultaneously from A and B. And the, and the one sent from B arrives at the plane 400, 400 microseconds before the one sent from A. Where is the plane? We have the given 0.2 miles per microsecond. A to B is equals to 100. A to center is equals to 50. B to center is equals to 50. So C is equals to 50. And 400 microsecond. And lastly, 50 miles north. We need to find the distance. So, and distance is equals to rate times time. Our rate is 0.2 and our time is 400. So D is equals to 80. PA minus PB is equals to 2A. So 2A is equals to 80. And we need, you just need to divide both sides by 2 to get the A. So A is equals to 40. And C is equals to 50. So we, we need, we'll use the formula C squared is equals to the square root of A squared plus B squared. To, and we will just need to substitute. So 50 squared is equals to the square root of 40 squared plus B squared. And we will arrive at the B squared is equals to the square root of C squared minus A squared. And B squared is equals to the square root of 50. T squared minus 40 squared and B squared is equal to the square root of 900. So B is equals to 30. So when we already get the value of A, B, and C, then we will just need to substitute the value of the of A and B in the equation x squared over A squared minus y squared over B squared is equals to 1. And that's why we have the equation x squared over 40 squared minus y squared over 30 squared is equals to 1. And y is given earlier and that is 50. So x squared over 40 squared minus 50 squared over 30 squared is equals to 1. We need to get the value of x. That's why we will transpose negative 50 squared over 30 squared to the other side. And we know that when we transpose a negative number to the other side, it will become positive. That's why our equation becomes x squared over 40 squared is equals to 1 plus 50 squared over 30 squared. Using our calcula calculator, the value of 50 squared over 30 squared is equal to 2.78. That's why we have the x squared over 40 squared is equal to 1 plus 2.78. And 1 plus 2.78 is equal to 3.78. And now, we need to remove the divisor of x squared and it is 40 squared. To remove the divisor, we, ne we simply need to multiply both sides by the divisor. When we multiply both sides by 40 squared, our equation will become x squared is equal to 40 squared times 3.78 and 40 squared times 3.78 is equal to 6048. But this is not our final answer because x still have an exponent of 2. To simplify this, we need to find the square root of both sides. And the square root of x squared is x and the square root of 6048 is 77.77. .77. So, x is equals to 77.77. Now, we already know the location of the plane. So, the location of the plane is at 77.77 and 50. Moving on to our next problem. Two stations that are 2 kilometers apart receive a sound signal issued from a source located at point P with the coordinates x, y. The station located at 0, negative 1 gets the signal 4 seconds earlier than the station at 0, 01. Use 0 0.33 kilometers per second as the speed of sound and find an equation of the hyperbola containing P. From the given speed of sound, we get 0 0.33 kilometers per second times 4 seconds is equals to 1.32 kilometers. As you can see, our product is less than the given distance, which is 2 kilometers. Therefore, 
we can infer that our focus is 1. Dividing 1.32 kilometers by 2a, then we will get the value of our a, which is 0 0.66 kilometers. Going back, we can see from the given above that our focus is 1. Hence, c is equal to 1. Now, the only missing value to complete our equation is the value of b squared. Using the equation a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared, we can get the value of our b. Substituting the value of a and c to the equation, we get 0 0.66 squared is equal to 1 squared plus b squared. Since we are finding the value of b, our equation will be b squared is equal to 1 squared minus 0 0.66 squared. By extracting the square root, b is equal to the square root of 1 squared minus 0 0.66 squared. Now, we have b equals 0 0.75. Using all the values we have solved, we can now find the equation of the hyperbola containing p just by substituting the value of a and b to the standard equation. Therefore, x squared over 0 0.66 squared minus y squared over 0 0.75 squared is equal to 1 is the equation of the hyperbola containing p. The graph of her hyperbola will somehow look like this. I would like to thank my groupmates for sharing and elaborating more steps to understand better, giving more knowledgeable steps or idea on how to solve the given problem. Thank you for watching.